Hello everyone, this is Joem from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the infrahyoid muscles. So in this tutorial we're going to be covering the anatomy, function and also clinical, related clinical points that you need to know about the infrahyoid muscles. And right now we're looking at an interior view of your neck where you can see these muscles. And you notice here that the infrahyoid muscles are a group of four muscles under the hyoid bone, hence the name infrahyoid. And then they attach also to the sternum, larynx, and the scapula. So they are four muscles, including the omohyoid, the sternothyroid, the thyrohyoid, and the sternohyoid. Now they have complex names, but don't worry, throughout this tutorial we're going to clarify their names, and you can even see that they really help you rem remember the different attachment points that these muscles will have. Let's start off with the very first one here on the list that you see also from an interior view of the neck, highlighted in green. This one is known as the omohyoid. The omohyoid is divided into two bellies. It has an inferior belly, as you can see here, and a superior belly. And they are divided by this tendon here that you see in a lighter shade of green. This is a where these two bellies will meet. Now the inferior belly will be originating from the superior border of the scapula, as you can clearly see here on this image. This is the superior border of the scapula, and notice how the inferior belly is originating from this point here. Then the inferior belly will be ascending craniomedially and then merges into the intermediate tendon at the height of the lateral cervical region. So you can see here that this will be technically the insertion point for the inferior belly of the homohyoid. And as you probably guessed, then the superior belly of the omohyoid will start at the this intermediate tendon here. So this is the starting point for the superior belly. And then goes all the way to insert on the hyoid bone, as you can clearly see here. So this is the hyoid bone, the anterior view of, or ventral view of the hyoid bone. Notice how... It will serve as an attachment point for the superior belly of the omohyoid. Now let's take a look at the innervation of the omohyoid. And the omohyoid is innervated by a branch of the cervical plexus that you see here highlighted in green, the ansa cervicalis. We're still looking at it from an interior view on this image. Now the inferior belly of the homohyoid will be innervated by branches of the three cervical rami, C1, C2, and C3, that make up the ansa cervicalis. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.